Hey guys, Free Galaxy Fiber. So today I'm gonna be making a video on the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog 3 5 inch figures. So without further ado, let's take a look at them. So as you can see, I obviously do not have all of the figures because if we take a look at the back of the boxes of these 5 inch figures, as you can see here, um, the ones I do not have at the moment are Shadow and Dr. Robotnik, but at least we have two of the main protagonists. Uh, Tails and Sonic so I'd say that's a win-win all right so the first figure we're gonna be taking a look at today is of course the man himself Sonic the Hedgehog and I also brought something else with me that is the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 5 inch figure so the reason I brought the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 figure with me is because before we take a look at the Sonic 3 figure let's take a look at its box so that's basically the reason why I have this here because as you can see it is still in the packaging so might as well just like kind of like compare the box design side by side so as you can see here um, it is slightly different the only difference being like this little bubble thingy that has the figure inside as you can see on the Sonic 2 figure it's in the shape of Sonic's head which honestly I really love but on the Sonic 3 figure, it's just this generic, like, arrow, which I guess kind of fits the background. Because as you can see, there's some arrows there. You can't really tell, but it is there. On the back of the box, it's basically just the exact same thing. Over here, we have a character description of Sonic himself. And here's a picture of the figure. And over here are, like, pictures of the different figures you can also collect. Alright, so now we're done taking a look at the box. Now let's take a look at the figure. So without further ado, let's take him out. Alright, so as you can see here, I have Sonic the Hedgehog out of his packaging and he looks pretty good. So as you can see here, he has a lot more articulation than the Sonic 2 figure because I believe this figure has like 13 points of articulation while this Sonic figure has 22 points of articulation which is almost double the amount of articulation than the Sonic 2 figure. The articulation on this figure in my opinion is a lot better than the Sonic 2 figure because on the arms and the legs they can sort of been more farther than the Sonic 2 figure because as you can see uh, Sonic can hold his fists up like this on the Sonic 3 figure but on on the Sonic 2 figure he can just do this I mean it's it's a slight difference but in my opinion I think the articulation on this Sonic figure is better than this thing so yeah <laughs> On the back of the figure, there's nothing much uh, to talk about really, but I don't know why they chose to do this, but some of Sonic's quills on Sonic's spikes um, are like kind of translucent, like they're kind of see-through as you can see here. I'm not sure why they chose to do this because this figure does not light up, so I don't know. I guess it's just like a weird design choice. Alright, now this one is just my opinion. But honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of the new face Sonic is depicted in because in pretty much all of the Sonic 3 figures, um, Sonic is depicted in this more uh, happier, more joyous smile, I guess, where like his uh, mouth is more opened and his eyes are more wide. Um, while on the Sonic 2 figures, um, he is depicted in this more serious um, looking smile, in my opinion. Um, this one makes Sonic more movie accurate because that is how he is seen in the promotional art as you can see here. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, the more happier smile makes Sonic um, less movie accurate. But I guess if they kept the same uh, smile as the Sonic 2 figure, it would be just the exact same thing but with more articulation. So... I guess I get why they did that, but um, I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about it, honestly. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the Sonic 3 figure and the Sonic 2 figure. And as you can see here, the Sonic 3 figure is obviously more taller than the Sonic 2 figure. 
And now here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the 5-inch Sonic 3 figure and the 2.5-inch Sonic 3 figure. And obviously, this one is a lot bigger. So now that we've finished taking a look at the Sonic figure, what about we take a look at his buddy, Tails the Fox. Alright, so this time we're going to be taking a look at the Tails figure, which comes in the exact same set as Sonic. So, we've pretty much taken a look at the box anyway. Uh, here is a picture of Tails, and the character description says, Tails is Sonic's best bud. Using his brains, tons of gadgets, and of course his two tails, he will do everything he can for his friends. So, yeah, nothing much to say about the box, because it's basically the exact same thing as the Sonic one. So, let's just open him. Alright, so as you can see here, I have Tails out of his packaging, and honestly, this might genuinely be the greatest Tails figure ever, and you might be wondering, well, why is this your favorite Tails figure ever? Like, isn't this just like a re-release of the Sonic 2 figure, but it's just more bigger and more articulation? Well, yeah, but one thing that makes this figure stand out than the rest of the Tails figures is this. The tails. So you might be wondering, well, what's so special about them? It's because each individual tail on tails, <laughs> yeah. So each individual tail on tails has their own articulation. And you might be wondering, like, well, why is that so special? Like, so on the Sonic 2 figure, it's just this mold. Um, and you cannot move them. And the only thing it can do is just like, it can just spin around. That's literally it, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that is honestly what makes this figure so special. And this single like, point of articulation, or two points of articulation, is something that you don't really see on most Tails figures nowadays. Um, so yeah, that's... Pretty much the reason why I think this is the best Tails figure that I've ever owned, or pretty much just ever in general. So, yeah, besides that, it's basically just uh, the Sonic 2 figure of Tails, but just more bigger and more articulation. So as you can see here, there is some articulation on the shoes, or like his, his ankle. Yeah, there's, there's that. And his hands open and close, just like... Uh, Sonics and uh, yeah basically the exact same articulation as Sonic uh, so yeah I really love this figure just because of the tails all right so overall I really 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 love these five inch figures um hopefully um I get my hands on the Shadow or Robotnik figures because they both look really cool. Um, so, if you liked today's video, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and also hitting the bell notifications so that you don't miss a single video um, once it comes out. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Sonic. Oh. <laughs>